guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another kind of video. I don't know what I'm going to call this, um, but I really wanted to sit down and do a few videos just chatting with a coffee. Today's coffee of choice is a salted caramel latte from McDonald's. Chatting about topics that are kind of related to small business or being creative or just in this creative world. A video that you can pop on in the background and have a listen to, maybe have some opinions that that are maybe the same as mine, maybe a bit different, and I'd love to just chat about it. I thought we'd start it off with a very um, prominent topic in my life, and that is worrying. <laughs> worrying about what people think, um, what people think of you, about what you're doing. I am somebody that is a huge worrier. Um, I think I've always been a worrier, and there's probably, if I was to chat to a therapist, there's probably things from like my childhood and things that I kind of went through that have meant that I worry now constantly about what people think or what's on their mind. And um, it, I have to say it affects me daily. Um, it's something that I'm very much trying to work through. And I know there's probably a lot of people watching this that also feel the same. I do not like that drink. That is not for me. Anyway, I popped on Google and I wanted to like, I, I can't remember what I searched. I searched something like worrying what other people think symptoms or something like that. Anyway, I found a website that says, here are some indicators that the opinions of others might be harmful to you and your mental health. So I'm gonna read these out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let me know in the comments below how many of these are related to you, like how many you, um, resonate with. So the first one is you change yourself in response to criticism regardless of what it is and who it comes from. Okay let's talk about this. I can get a hundred lovely comments on a video but if I get one that is slightly negative about something and it's negative based on their opinion rather than a fact, um, I will sit back and think oh my god they're right I need to change everything <laughs> even though I've had a hundred comments from a uh, positive so that's the kind of the first thing do we do you fixate on the criticism um no matter who it comes from we'll talk about that in a minute the next one you let other people make decisions for you I very much resonate with this in that I don't like making decisions um, and I think Matt, my partner, knows this because he will always get me to make decisions. I think it's an exercise he does. <laughs> but I, I'm just like, no, please, you make the decision. I can't do it. You make the decision for us, like whether it's what we're eating or where we're going. So I definitely resonate with number two. Number three is you don't set or maintain boundaries. I will say I'm getting better at this. I'm getting better at setting my boundaries, but it's definitely been a thing I've struggled with. Again, let me know in the comments how you feel about that. Number four, you're a perfectionist. I would say I am, but not, I don't know. I think some people believe that I am, in that I want everything to be right, and I suppose I am. I am. I do want things to be right. But I also am quite good at accepting that not everything can be perfect, so it is what it is. I don't know, I'm kind of, I don't think I'm a perfectionist there. Some of you might disagree. <laughs> the next one is, you hold your tongue if opinion differs from everyone else's. I think I just don't put myself in a situation where I give my opinions on things. <laughs> I'm very much like, I think I just, this is why I just sit on my own. But I'm not very like, I don't really have crazy opinions and like, out, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Your peace of mind relies on approval from others. This is something I really need to work on. Um, I, yeah, definitely the, what other people think of me and if they approve of what I'm doing definitely affects me mentally, for sure. Uh, the next one, is me to a T and it is you're constantly apologizing even when you did nothing wrong. Matt, I wish Matt was here to tell you how many times a day 
I apologize. And he'll say, why are you apologizing? Why are you saying sorry? <laughs> I say sorry all the time. Um, and I know that I do it because I've noticed that Luca does it. Luca apologizes all the time and he's done nothing wrong. Uh, and when I correct him and say, you don't need to be sorry, Matt will look at me like, hmm, I wonder where he got that from. So yeah, I, I've had it before when people have DM'd me. It doesn't happen often. I'm, I'm very fortunate that I don't get many like complaints and things, but it's mainly like on Etsy where I've had people like make a complaint or something because they don't know me. They've just bought on Etsy without knowing who I am. Um, and I, even when I know I've done nothing wrong, I'm still, I apologize profusely. So yeah, not good. And the last one is you rarely say no. Again, which is me down to a T. Um, there's projects and things that I just don't really want to do. Um, and rather than saying no, and potentially upsetting them, I would say yes and be unhappy doing it. <laughs> I'm getting better at it, but it's all about that setting boundaries thing, isn't it? It's, um, they're linked, so I'm getting better at it. So I, I agree with every single one on those points. Let me know below how you are. <laughs> if, if none of those apply to you, I commend you. I have to say, this is where I've talked about Matt, my partner, quite a bit here, but this is where I think we have lasted for so long because I think we're so, we have so many things in common, but we also are very different personalities and where I am the person that says sorry all the time and I'm always worried about what people think and oh, I don't want to do that and what if I get that wrong? Matt is so like, eh, doesn't matter. Why does it matter what people think? They don't know who I am. He's so calm like that. And not in like a dick move. He's just very confident in like, this is who I am. If people don't like it, then that's fine. Um, they're not my people anyway. And I do really admire him for that. But it's funny when it comes to things like, I don't know, we're just we're so different <laughs> the way we handle things. A great example is on holiday in America. On the way home, Luca was really grumpy on the way home at the airport. He was screaming and kicking about and he's never done that since and he's never done it before then. It was just a weird 24 hours. Matt was so calm in that moment in soothing him and kind of blocking everybody else out and just focusing on Luca and what he needed in that moment. Whereas me, I was on edge, filled with anxiety because I was thinking, oh my god, what about the people in front? What are they thinking? And like, how am I going to get to the desk? And I'm thinking about everybody else and making sure that everyone else is happy. And my son is upset in that moment. And I wasn't, you know? And that's just, that just shows that I, I am more focused on what's everyone else around me thinking and how are they going to react to this situation than just staying calm, not bothering about other people and just focusing on my child. So... <laughs> That's is something I'm working on and something I'm working through. Um, but it, to bring it back to business, for me, it's a huge thing on social media. I'm somebody that overanalyzes a lot and I'm somebody that grew very quickly on social media. You know, from a thousand followers to 20,000 in not a short space of time. And you lose a lot of people on that journey. I've certainly lost a lot of people. And I think because of the two or three people that were very close to me that now are no longer, and that, that whole journey and what happened there, I assume that everybody doesn't like me anymore. Does that make sense? I'm not saying this to like, you know, get comments or anything, but it's just, if I don't, if I sort of, so I've had a few occasions where I've been scrolling Instagram and I've thought, oh, I've not seen that person for a while, like come up on my feed. And then when I click on it, they've unfollowed me. I sit back and think, oh God, I have really upset that person. For them to, for us to have chatted in the past and now they just have unfollowed me. 
what I've, I've done something wrong I'm a bad person um I should feel really bad for that and that this has happened a lot so you just constantly think that you're upsetting people it doesn't matter how many nice comments you get you just assume you are upsetting people by just being yourself so on the flip side to that and what I'm working through now and what I'm getting better at is realizing that people have their own lives people have their own interests people have their own own drama own everything going on and not everybody is worried or thinking about me and that's the big thing we all just assume that everybody doesn't like us people are talking about us and doing all these things but actually people are just focused on their own stuff they're just trying to get through their own day their own worries it could be that they just what they enjoyed in your content is not really relevant to them anymore you know this i've unfollowed loads of people where you know 10 years ago i wanted to be a 3d animator so everyone i followed was doing you know 3d modeling and and texturing that's not my interest anymore so i've unfollowed it doesn't mean i doesn't i don't like those people it's just not in my interest and we have to just stop focusing on what we might be doing wrong as long as we like i tell myself all the time i'm a good person i work hard i help others where i can and i'm just trying to inspire and motivate other people if some people don't like it that's fine but i can't stress too much about what other people think of me so yeah there we go <laughs> that was a long little chat wasn't it so i was having a look on this website um where it says like what you what you can do to kind of stop this stress and stop worrying what other people think of you and we're just going to chat about a few of them so the first one is remember that people aren't that interested in you i've sort of basically chatted about that people um don't have enough time to be worried about you on top of their stuff so stop stressing so much <laughs> number two is tell yourself a different story this is one thing we make up scenarios in our head tell me if, if you do this as well instead of just focusing on our own thing we sit and analyze and overanalyze and think oh this is what this person's thinking and this is why they haven't messaged me and this is like we need to just stop tell yourself a different story so it says here today i did so and so and everybody laughed they must think i'm stupid i'm stupid everyone knows i'm stupid i can't face them again instead of telling yourself that story say today i did so and so and everyone laughed i think i cheered up a couple of people who were having a bad day even if it was by accident so it's just kind of flipping the, the narrative in your head how do you know that others with whom you share company are not themselves insecure? Like we all, are sh I think everybody thinks, everybody's worried about everyone else. And we're just all in this sense, like we're all worried. We're just all worried and we just don't need to. <laughs> There's just no reason to be. Um, focus on controlling your thoughts, not theirs. That's really cool. So therefore, if you spend even one minute of mental energy focusing what others think of you, you are wasting time and energy. Instead, it suggests trying to manage your own thoughts about the situation. Once you shift your focus away from those things, you'll likely be happier and less stressed. This is what I need to do. And the last one I'm gonna end on, which is such a great point, and that is don't try and please everybody. I'm definitely somebody that wants to make everybody happy i want to inspire as many people as i can i want to make content for everybody and when i lose followers or i i don't as much but i've definitely in the past felt so down about that and what you realize is you cannot please everybody like you cannot there will be people that do not like you do not like your content, it's not for them, it doesn't matter how shiny and how, how lilac you make it, it's not going to please those people. I kind of link this to people that don't like pizza. Can you believe it? There's people out there that do not like pizza. The most gorgeous food on the planet. Those people are just like, no, I don't like it. You are pizza. <laughs> to me, think you're bloody gorgeous but to some people it doesn't matter how cheesy and how delicious you are they won't like you stop worrying about those people 
and focus on people like me, the pizza lovers who just get it. So on that note, thanks for sticking with me on this little 10 minute chat. I hope you've liked it. I'll see you next week for another chat. Let's just chat about something else. Leave me a note in the comments below about something you want me to talk about. No topic is off limits. All right, have a nice day. Bye.